what's up guys? It's Ron from from Predatory Fins and welcome welcome back to another YouTube video where where today we're gonna be feeding the fish. What do you think about the building? Give me ideas, what we should do. There's snow on the ground. You see this right here? There's a story about this and I'll tell you guys in a minute. Jordan was still talking a little much, so um, I smashed one of these chairs on his head. Go forward! A meteor came from the sky and hit our truck. Hey guys, welcome back to Predatory Fins. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not in Florida. There's snow on the ground. We just arrived, actually we arrived last night, and let me tell you, I left Florida with a bang, and I came to New York with a bang, and I'm gonna show you guys why. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the building. Jordan's behind the camera, he came with me all the way from Florida. We drove our truck, and then we had uh, a big truck with a trailer bringing the big tanks, and we have a uh, Penske truck bringing all the other stuff. But we'll get to that after. Come this way, Jordan. So this is, we are in Copeg in New York. This right here is uh, Montauk Highway. There's a lot of cars that drive through here, which is one of the reasons why we like this building. And then if you come right here, you can see how big this building is. There's some work to do, but we're gonna get to that after. <clears throat> All these windows, we're gonna have to cover them up, redo the whole front. Right now our goal is get the inside done, but guys, this is a 10,500 square feet. You can stay over there so they can see how big it is. I, f I fell in love with this building since day one. And I think we can do a lot in here. We're going to walk through the back so you can see everything. Because I know a lot of you guys want to see it. This right here is the front parking lot where we are. And then we have a couple more parking spots right here. Dude, it's, co it's cold. It's cold. I was just telling Jordan, now I got to clip my mic on my hoodies because there's no more tank tops. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do sometimes. So this whole side right here I think will be really nice because I have three dogs. So I can make an area for them to run back and forth. I think it will be pretty cool. Not when it's cold, but they can still go out, you know, pee pee and go back in. Oh, it's been a lot of work, guys. A lot of work. A lot of stress through this whole process because we're dealing with big, heavy equipment. Um, you know, anything could happen anytime. And sometimes things happen that you don't have control of, so we just have to deal with it. And unfortunately, something did happen last night. Uh, I was very thankful that it could have could have been a lot worse. And it wasn't as bad. I mean, it was pretty bad, but not as bad. So this is our back entrance. <clears throat> the building goes all the way there from the back and I was telling Jordan like you know in the future when we clean all this up I can have ponds here with like sturgeon paddle fish like cold water fish I think there's a lot of space that we can really do well and do many things in this property this is what I like I'm not even gonna lie this Every time I had a building, the roll-up doors were just, you had to pull it my whole life. This one here, you press a button, it opens up, press the button, shuts off. Hey, so look, what's up, brother? Stop. You don't even have to open all the way. So here, let me introduce you to the world, bro. It's my boy, Fadi Fadi. What's up, guys? You'll see a lot more of him lately, or Ooh. soon. <clears throat> sometimes he's a plus, sometimes he's a minus, but, you know, he, he equals all out. <laughs> Jordan, come here. I know you're cold, bro. Let's get in. No extras? You're very extra, bro. <laughs> so look at that. Boom. Press the button. Close it up. Might need some WD-40. I think... I think this building has been empty for about two years. So that's why it's a little rusty, but look how big the inside is. We have this massive forklift here. We have my boy with his trailer that brought the 3,000 gallons. So as you can tell, this is very big, very tall. The only concern is how to insulate and keep the temperature in the building, which we're gonna have to learn how to do it. 
You see this right here? There's a story about this, and I'll tell you guys in a minute. So let's keep going. Yeah, don't, okay. You like WWE? We did that, we did that, some of that last night. Look at this. Uh, Jordan was still talking a little much, so um, I smashed one of these chairs on his head, and they turned into one. But we'll talk about that later. So if you come this way, that's the 3,000. What's up, Brent? You good, buddy? What's up, buddy? Hey, man, thanks for making it in one piece. Thanks, I appreciate it. You did awesome. What's the name of the company, bro? If anybody's looking for a driver, all over the U.S., right? All over the U.S., coast to coast, Crowders Hot Trucking. That's Crowders? Hot Trucking. Hot Trucking. I'll put it on the screen for you guys to see as well. You want to say hi to your wife, bro? Hey, Make honey. Like, hey, honey. <laughs> Love you, baby. All right, more fish. <laughs> oh, now, now you're not, you don't want to show that, bro. For your wife, she might get mad at you. She might tell you not to go home if you bring more fish home. Spoiler alert. <laughs> All right, we'll be with you in a second to unload that. Jordan, come this way, brother. So, guys, this building, like I said, is 10,000 square feet. As you can see, there's the big forklift, there's his trailer, his truck, my forklift, and the Penske truck. Now, if you zoom into that Penske truck, you're going to see that a meter, a meteor, well, how do you call it? Those things that come from the sky and go, boom! Meteor. Yeah. Me meteor. meteor. Oh, I said it right. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. So a meteor came from the sky and hit our truck. And I don't know if it's just the angels telling me, like, don't go to New York or go to New York or what's going on. But, you know, our place caught on fire in Florida. And this is what we were doing here in New York. So we left Florida with a bang. And we came to New York with a bang. It's insane. Thank God nobody got hurt. A damn meter. <laughs> it's called a bridge, actually, on Earth. And he took the whole top of the truck off. I was not driving the truck. Neither was none of these guys. I, I paid a, a professional driver. I guess that's how he was professional <laughs> to drive. But it wasn't his fault. In his defense, the GPS sent him to the wrong location. He couldn't back up, and boom. I just don't understand why would you even make bridges that trucks couldn't go under. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me, but it is what it is. Uh, unfortunately, he did. He ripped the whole damn truck off. I used to have a saw up there, and uh, that's the handle of the saw. So I'm hoping that there's not too much damage. The box is garbage. They told us to just cut it open. So what we're going to have to do after we unload that, I might have to get the big forklift and just pull the hole back out because otherwise there's no way to open the door. There's no way to unload. As you can see, if you want to come close, the springs, everything's gone. Look, there's nothing. There's nothing that we can do to get in there. <clears throat> I'm just hoping when we do open this, the damage is not going to be worse. But like I said, you got to take the good with the bad. Nobody got hurt. You know, the cops still allow us to drive here. The building's big enough that the truck could go inside because otherwise it would be outside and rain, whatever, snow. So we got very, very lucky. And I put insurance to the bad boy, and that's what insurance is for. Don't forget, guys, protect yourself. And this, look at this. This side is perfect. So he did, I think he went through three bridges in the middle, and for somehow he went to the right side and boom. But, dude, this thing opened like a can of sardine. Uh, <laughs> the poor driver, he was so, when I got there, the cops, the, the three cops, he was shaking. And I told him, I said, hey, man, I'm not mad at you. Like, even with us, when I was driving, my dually, it sent us to three different directions, right? The GPS just changes. Sometimes it's not fast enough, or I don't know what the hell is going on. But, you know, if you're not used to driving around here, it's going to happen. So this is an alert for anybody driving through New York. <laughs> If you have a commercial vehicle, I learned that yesterday. Do not go in any of the parkways because, one, you get a ticket. Two, you hit a bridge. Three, you're going to have to court date. And, and four, you might get nine tickets because the poor guy got nine tickets. So it sucks, but, you know, like I said, at least we're alive. And now we're going to go unload this. I'm just very thankful that nobody got hurt. And, you know, actually very thankful that we had insurance as well. But let's keep talking about the building real quick so we can go unload that truck. 
I love when I came in, I love the, the way all these windows are. But Kevin made a good point because uh, some of you might not know, we're combining both of our facilities here. But he made a good point. There's <clears throat> so many windows that's going to be harder to insulate and keep the, the cold out, you know. But this building has infrared, I, I hope I'm saying that right, infrared heater system, which apparently is supposed to heat the object or how does that even work? I guess it senses, you know, movement or whatever, and it heats this, the person, not the room. So, like, a fish tank it will heat up the, the fish tank, not the space in the room. I don't know how that works, but there's over there, over there, all over. And before we do anything, we're going to have to insulate this whole building. We're still in the buying process, so we don't want to start working until we actually buy it. We're going to rent for a few months first until the buying process is done. And then we can start our building construction on. We have applied the permits and all that stuff. But for now, we're just going to build a, a rectangle box from there to here to the front. So we can go ahead and set up the systems inside of this box, insulated box. So we heat up this. So whenever we have fish come in, they're going to be warm. They're not going to have to, you know, we're not going to have to worry about heating up the whole place. We're just going to have a box, insulated box to put the animals in. <clears throat> it's going to be a lot of work, but I'm excited. I think we, we found a great spot. We're so close to the water, which is another concern, you know. Um, but we looked it up, and there was no floods here ever. I think the closest we got was to that street, even on the worst flood. You know, but it is what it is. We're here, and we're here to stay. No going back. No regrets. Fadi, come here, bro. You're looking a little sad, bro. Here. Pretend you're me for, for like, a couple seconds, dude. For right. like a minute. Just pretend you're me. All right. If this is you, you got one shot in life. This is it right now. All right. I Let's got go. it. I want to see it. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Rod from from Predatory Fins, and welcome, welcome back to another YouTube video. Where where today we're gonna be feeding the fish, and and doing a whole bunch of stuff so that we can open up in New York. You know how I know you messed up? How did I mess up? We have no fish here, bro. <laughs> Where are you hey, where the fish at? They're, they're in Florida. Bro, you lying, bro? <laughs> 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 All right, he did good. He did good. So, guys, we're going to do that. And uh, right now, we have another problem. That forklift that they dropped it up. Yo, these things are costing on my leg. I think I paid $1,600 for one day just to then drop it off, just to take that tank out. So, the forks are not big enough. So, I'm going to have to lift one side with this forklift and the other side with our forklift and hope for the best because we don't have another option so we're going to get to that now jordan's going to keep filming and hopefully stay away from the tank hopefully nothing's going to happen i'm just going to lift and i'll lift on the other side and you drive forward i'm not going to move All right, this side is up. I hope it's, <laughs> it's enough. All right, you're good. Go forward. Stay right there, stay right there. Watch that side, watch that side. Keep going. You're good, you're good. <clears throat> Keep going. Okay. All right, now, this is the fun part. We're gonna have to go down together. 
So he's going to operate this forklift. You're going to stand right there. And you stand here. Yeah, I know you're filming, but just in case, just let's go slow. Okay? We're going to be like this. Yeah, we have to go slow. Brent, let's go slow together, you and I. You're going to film me go down a little bit, you go down a little bit, and then we just balance each other out. Very little, very slow. It's cold. I'm not gonna lie, it's cold. But we still have to unload that truck. And right now, the only thing we can do to unload the truck, use a very, very strong man. This guy. He can rip that with his teeth. What is that? <laughs> Guys, there's no way around to get into this truck. So what we're gonna have to do is literally use Hulk over there to pull that whole frame and door out, there's nothing else, but there's no way to get around it. Um, so let's go ahead and start this process. I think you should stay behind the wall because it might be a little dangerous for you. Let me just go ahead and uh, take the lock, at least the lock away, right? I'll unlock this. And then I think my goal is gonna be put the forks right there and just pull back. All right, let's hope for the best. You guys better protect yourselves at all times. Whew. What are you gonna stay, Jordan? I don't know, I'm far away. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You got the shirt, right? Yeah. For human body parts, let's do this. Okay, boys, it's not gonna work. I think if I go <coughs> higher, You're gonna hit the ceiling. yeah, I don't know how, unless this opens it like this. Let me play with it for a little bit. I just did, but I think this might, might open it up more. So let me, let me play with this and see how I do it. We did it. Finally, half of the stress is over. That big tank is now, hopefully, in one piece. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think about the building? Give me ideas, what we should do. And we'll keep filming for you guys, and I'll see you next time. I just want to say thank you for Jordan Fadi Fadi over there for coming to help us out. And uh, hopefully we can start building super fast and get things done. I'll see you guys on the next video.